Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Still in Florida, this will be the last Florida video that you are receiving. And then finally, fireworks, fireworks, fireworks. My heart is exploding and ready to be in Texas full time. I will have a new studio. I will be filming new things. I'm just like, I'm so ready. I'm so excited. But I did want to share with you guys that, you know, I've been out here in Florida, kind of kicking it here with James, waiting for the home to be ready. We went to Target things happened. It's my job to stay informed and I ended up buying a boatload of new products. I would say this is pretty moderate. This is a, a moderate pint. This is a not a mega pint, but we're still going to do a full face in action on camera, go through it all first impressions. Thank you to those of you that loved the title of my uh, Monday, my last Monday video. I thought it was hilarious and I was like, should I actually post it like this? Why yes, I did. I just am in that kind of a mood lately. And thank you guys just for your support. Also with the new Halo launch, I will link below the website where you can go and find more out about the new Sakura formula. And let's just dive on in. Let's first take a look. We got a little this, Woo, we got a little that. A lot of new things. I am gonna scooch you in which is a little bit dangerous because honestly, as mentioned, I don't have lighting or a monitor. So um, this could also be kind of like a challenge video, perhaps we're gonna see how it goes and just roll with the punches. So let me scooch you in a little bit closer. We're gonna start out with a little Prime Focus Primer Serum from Wet n Wild. Do we love the color? It is dreamy, relaxing. This is said to refine your pores. It has dragon fruit, lavender, which I go back and forth on. Some studies say it is irritating to the skin. Others say, oh no, no, it's so good. Calming. Well, actually, whatever your opinion is, you'll find something that says, yes, you are correct. You will also find the opposite of no, you're not correct. So basically, do any of us really know what we are doing? No. Of course, I'm making kind of a blanket statement on that, but you guys get me, right? Do what works for you. Look in the mirror, feel how you feel in your body as far as like if you're changing your diet or whatever. And with makeup, you're gonna know, you're gonna feel if things are irritating you, clogging your pores and just kind of deal with it maybe in that approach is kind of what I'm into. Anyway, wow, let's get chatty over one ingredient. I'm gonna start with a couple of drops of this guy. I'm just gonna put it on like a serum and we will see how this sinks in. It is a primer serum, so I should be able to go right on top with foundation. It's not too sticky. You don't need much because it is taking a minute to sink in and everything right now for my skin is just like, like just sinking in so quickly, so that's kind of odd. I should just get this pierced right here because every time I film and I have my cute little cuff, I'm just like, it kind of hurts and then I can feel like my ear getting red. Okay, ignore that. <sighs> this is not immediately impressing me, but it is a serum primer. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to use it a few more times. And let's just see how foundation goes on top of it. I'm kind of totally breaking my own rule of using a foundation I already understand, know, and trust on top of a new primer because you can run into that thing where you're like, okay, well, which is it? Was it the primer that kind of got the foundation screwed up or was it the new foundation that made the primer not feel like it was working so well? So I am just throwing it out there. I am breaking my own rule and I will have to try these items again separately just to really kind of zero in on what is doing what. But I just, I wanted to, I wanted to go there and I wanted to try this new one out from Maybelline. This is the Perfector 4-in-1 Whipped Matte Makeup. It's the Instant Age Rewind, which you guys know I love. And this is a primer and powder, a concealer and BB cream. It's also flammable. Why? Uh, okay, so this is some hot fire makeup. Uh, it literally has a little flame on the side, like, hey, watch yourself. Um, the formula is flammable. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Like, do we want that on our face? I don't know. Okay, uh, let's just go in. Oh my goodness. Do you know what this is? I know exactly what this is. I am having serious flashbacks. This is the old whipped, not age rewind, the dream matte mousse. 
repackaged. I'm betting you the ingredients are the same. Wow. They just put it in a different package. Uh, the color's a little weird, but like it's not bad. Wow, I really redded up my ear there. Hello. I really kind of want to get something like a double pierce or do, I don't know, I love wearing ear cuffs but they always pinch me. Like I can only last for a few hours and then I'm like, I just cannot. Uh, what's your experience been with ear piercing? Is it that painful? You know, like the right there, let me know. All right, are you ready for a totally useless review moment? I don't know if I love it or hate it. It's like, it's like this. I kind of look in the mirror and I'm like, ooh, satiny smooth, not covering everything, leaning on a mattifying, pretty smooth satin kind of a thing, but the color's a little weird, could oxidize funny, not sure. Can't really build this up because of that whipped texture, but it just, it does in a pinch, smooth everything out, kind of one and done. It's not covering this stuff up. Sadly. Concealer. Let's go there. Let's talk about it. This is from Winky Lux. This is the Peeper Perfect or Peeper Perfect. This is the full coverage under eye concealer and I have the shade Light Beige. The color's a little light. Oh gosh, I don't like this. I don't like the consistency of this. It's liquidy and puffy. It's not sinking in. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah, I don't know that I super love that. Okay, e. This is the Vegan Collagen Hydrating Setting Mist. I really like the ingredients in here. I really love a good hydrating mist. And I do, again, love to kind of really soak up the face dry it off before powder. That has been a newer thing that I've been into. Try it out, let me know what you think, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And when I say I like wet the face, yeah, I'll be back. Okay, and we're back. I'm really not feeling that concealer. I feel like this shade, it's not that it's too light. I have plenty of concealers that I use that are light like this. It's almost got this gray undertone that I'm not into and I can see it kind of pulling apart. It's just not it for me. I'm gonna see how the foundation wears. So far I like it, surprisingly, for what it is. And this mist, oh, I could just take some more that sprayer and the fact that it is in a glass bottle. This is nice. Okay, so this is not new new, but this is something that I'm obsessed with. And I just, I feel like when there is a drugstore gem, I have to share with you guys over and over and over so that when you are out and about, you are equipped, you're not looking like, oh gosh, you know what? I need a powder and a pinch, what should I get? That maybe it will be like in the back of your mind. Uh, the, this one is a smash hit. This is from CoverGirl. This is the Advanced Radiance. And I will put an insert in of the one that I have completely done in. I needed a new one, so why not while I was there? I'm gonna be taking the BK Beauty 101. This has a lot of space on here, so I'm gonna actually load up the brush quite a bit. And like even with a concealer that I don't like, I find that this will help bring it together. All right, and I do find that it does look better about 10 minutes once it's warmed up with your skin. So don't be alarmed if you put this on at first and you're like, ooh, it seems to be sitting on top of the skin a little bit. This is the kind of makeup that does pull in. You know, I describe good makeup like that all the time. And once we get to the rest of the face, mist the face one more time, it's just gonna be perfect. This is from Revolution. This is the Splendor Ultra Matte Glow Bronzer. This is a big pan, which you guys know, I love a big pan. Well, I seem to have gotten the wrong shade. Uh, this is not what I, th medium. Does this look like medium to you guys? This looks so dark. I'm a little bit intimidated, but let's just, I don't know. Let's just go there and see what happens. 
Ooh, oh man, do I really want to do that? No, oh my gosh, is this con- what is this? The thoughts that are going through my head right now. Well, now I have to do the other side. Okay, well, this is really intense. I'm really curious to see what the light looks like now because I look like I am doing like a funny, um, like a funny makeup challenge, except for I'm not. This is really insane. The formula is not bad. It's just, wow. And I am tan. That's the funny thing. Like I'm sure that I'm in front of the window and it does not look like I'm super tan, but I am like, I'm pretty dark right now for me. And this is just bananas. I'm going to go ahead and say that I have not seen a movie in a movie theater in over two years. So this is kind of a big day for me and I really wanted my makeup to look nice. So I'm going to make it look nice. We're going to make it look nice. I'm going to blend and blend and blend until my arm falls off and this looks better. Okay. It's already looking better. I look slightly dirty, but it's it's gonna be fine. Alrighty, so just going in with a little bit of this beautiful hot flush blush in exhale. And let's just see if maybe a little pink will spruce in things up. All right, well, highlighter sometimes fixes things, so we're just gonna really, um, such a joke. Okay, let's go in and see what happens. Uh, these look shiny, a little chunky. I'm gonna go ahead and say, as I'm like looking at it, I'm like, ooh, this looks also intense. They are just like, ugh. okay, let's just top row it. I just kind of feel like the drugstore pigmentation. I know we all want like a lot of pigment in our products, but there is a balance. And sometimes I feel like they're just like, oh, and they like, pour so much pigment in the eyeshadows and everything and it doesn't blend and it's just a little like the texture's off but like the pigment's there. But that doesn't make a product necessarily good in my opinion. So let's just, maybe I just have a sour attitude right now or something. See that is crazy. That is crazy pigmented. Okay, this is turning into like full face of the worst drugstore makeup. Um, I don't necessarily wanna say that I think this Hello Kitty palette is the worst ever, but like, do we see? There is so much shine. I might get a sunburn just exclusively in this area from like all the light being collected right here. While we have kind of like screwed up makeup, let's just kind of just see, go into a little bit of the blushy situation and just kind of, Ooh, okay, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. I really thought I would really like this more. I think this has an avenue of redemption if it is incorporated into a look where I'm using products that I know, love, and trust. But the skin right now is starting to look really bunchy, crunchy, uneven, patchy, and I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, I don't like it. So that is such a bummer, but let's just continue. We're already in it. So let's move in to some eyebrows. This is the Maybelline New York Tattoo Studio Brow Lift Stick. Now, when I did my rundown of Maybelline, I was like, they can't get a brow right to save their lives. And you know, all the brow products are always so hokey pokey. And it'll be the day when I like one of them. And they keep coming out with more. I don't know what the deal is. It's like, can we just get like a normal, I don't know, like a normal pencil? But this is the Tattoo Studio. What is this? Okay, so you got your like, it looks like a shadow stick on one side and then you have like a little brushy thing on the other. We're just gonna go in. We're just gonna go in. I could see this working for someone with thicker, more luxurious brows that just wants to have them stay in place and gain a little color and shape. Whoa, okay. All right, so um, don't really know what to make of that. Put on some lipstick. Okay, there is a cat on the top of this lipstick. I think you guys need to see this before I destroy it. 
Oh, it's more like a balm. Sheer lipstick is what it is called. Okay. Well, I got it on sale. Um, I don't love it. I don't hate it. We're gonna top off with a little bit of Winky Lux. This is the Chandelier Gloss. Love that name. It's a sparkling gloss and I have the shade Brilliant Vegas. Ooh, okay. Found something I like. Ooh. Okay, that in the monitor looks terrible, but in real life, it is just like, kind of like a metallic fantasy. This looks nice. It's really thin. You can barely feel it on the lips. A lot of times with a metallic formula, you actually feel this like crunchy type of a sensation, if you will. Let's move into some eye makeup. I think we need that. I do have high hope for this. This is the PYT Beauty. Upcycle eyeshadow palette in Rowdy Rose Nude. It's infused with jojoba seed oil, sunflower seed oil, and vitamin E. And it is made uh, sustainably. They use 15% recycled plastics. Really cool brand. I'm curious to try more of their stuff and look into their brand a little bit more, but it kind of jumped out at me at Target. It looked really pleasing to the eye. And I'm gonna start out with a little bit of a transition just to frame the eye. I'm gonna go right in here. Wow, this highlighter and bronzer just really did a number. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with kind of the chocolatey, darker matte brown in the center of the palette. And I'm just going to load that up on the outer portion of the eye, not taking it too much into the crease, just keeping it right in that outer area. That looks all right. Have you guys watched any good new shows recently? Because I took a time out from TV legitimately for like a year. I just wasn't interested at all. Like TV, Netflix, nothing. Like I watched nothing and people are like, have you seen Bridgerton? And I'm like, I have not. They're like, have you seen, um, what was the other one, Squid Games? I'm like, I have not. I literally took like such a huge time out just to focus on my well-being, my life, my businesses, and kind of just focusing on keeping everything alive and well as best I could. And I just didn't have time and I just didn't really watch anything and nothing really pulled me in. So now, I'm kind of back into here and there watching some movies and series. And I have to tell you guys, we watched, I keep calling it Night Sky, but I think it's called Night Fall with Sissy Spacek. It is so interesting and so good. And I highly recommend it. I am pulling this color in toward my nose now. Uh, it is so sweet and just entertaining and interesting. And if you have not checked that one out, I have loved that. I don't like to watch terribly violent things. I don't like to watch anything just too graphic. I've kind of mellowed out and I really do focus on what I allow in my world, you know? Like for me, I just, I don't need shoot 'em up bang bang movies anymore. I don't watch horror movies ever. They're just not for me. But this one was just so fascinating and sweet and well thought through. And I thought I would share and share with me in the comments if there's anything that you have watched recently that really just made you go, wow, this was a good use of my time. This was worth it. So this shadow is super pigmenty. I like it. I don't know how that is coming off so purple, but okay. I am gonna go in right here to this guy in the bottom row and shine up the lids a little bit. Definitely not the color I was expecting, that's okay. And now I'm gonna go into the Single Ready to Sparkle Jason Wu. 
I have loved, like, la la loved, lo like, where are you? I have loved some of Jason Wu's products. Like, I do not leave home without this one right here. This is the Brows Before Boys Eyebrow and Hairline Powder. Love it, honestly, so, so good. I might throw some of this in my brows to kind of save the day a little bit. So I'm excited. I think this is gonna be nice. If you wanna see more Jason Wu products in action, I will link the video below. Ooh, yes. Okay, whoa, all right, that is something else. That is like glitter, wow. Okay, let's go on top here. Ooh, I really thought this was just eyeshadow. Run, don't walk, that is really special. Oh my. Okay, so this whole video is so worth it just to discover this one product. I am not even joking. It is a hybrid metallic shadow with actual texture of glitter that is not flying around anywhere on my face. That is magnificent. I have never in my life like felt a formula like this. Like that is, whoa, that is, yay. Look at that. Oh my gosh redeemed, like totally redeemed. I am gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of powder from Jason Wu in my brows just because it will show you how magnificent it is for one and then two, my brows just need it. Okay, so different experience putting brow powder on top of this kind of creamy consistency, not the greatest brow day, but I think we made a small minor improvement. And we are now gonna go in to this exhibitionist stretch and strengthen mascara in Very Black from CoverGirl. Okay, and curl. And think about all the mistakes that I this is not doing jackety jack Ola. Okay, wait, come on. Buildable, kind of. Yeah, not my fave. I prefer a bolder look to my lashes. So I'm gonna show you so we can see like a good side by side. We're trying to make as much use of this video as possible. Some people had, when I was doing a lot of like products that don't work for me before my move, I was getting rid of a lot of makeup and I was doing a lot of those videos and they're like, it's too negative on your channel right now. Like, can you please, you know, find things to be happy about and love on. And that has kind of stayed with me. I know I'm harsh in my reviews. I know what I like and what I don't. So it's really hard for me to be like, oh, this is nice. Like if I don't absolutely love it. So I'm sorry that this ended up being kind of, not the video I had intended, but we're gonna try to include a few items that do work like this one like kind of level it out a little bit. So you can see the difference, hopefully you can see the difference in the Lash Paradise and the new one from CoverGirl. This is more wispy, it's not as curled up, it's not as opaque, there's not as much thickness. And this is just one coat. If I go back in again and continue building, they will get even more full looking and they don't fall, budge, smudge, flake. So this is just still one of my all time favorite mascara formulas at the drugstore. Just much better, this eye to this eye, I personally see a difference. Okay, well, 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 well. What do we got? A lot of texture and blotchiness is what we've got. So I am gonna zoom out. We're gonna have a final chat about it all. All right, you guys, here are my final thoughts. And we're done. Uh, okay, actually, I do have one more product to try out. This is the one and done setting spray. It says FU pollution and blue light. Uh, let's just dig on in here. I actually could use a little mist. Man, they really like, the drugstore is like no joke with like ugh, these like butcher knife to get in here. Okay, we're gonna mist, we're gonna mist. Decent. 
Very fragranced. Oi. Nope, it's a no. It's a no. This one actually is a yes. I do like this. This one is delightful. Soothing. Um, okay, so let's just like rapid fire. We are not sure. Totally unsure, maybe with better bronzer and on a different day. We all know what happened next. The concealer kind of did not go well. Used a powder that I love so much from CoverGirl. And then the bronzing happened, the blushing highlighting happened. This blush right here from PYT, I'm going to try it on a different day. I don't think I gave it a fair shot because of everything that was going on all together. I do like the Pacifica Mist, of course, right here. We did the brows, which did not go well. We went into this shadow palette, which, you know, not the best, not the worst. I'm not totally wowed by it, but then again, whenever my face makeup is not going well, I am much more critical with what's going on on the eyes, much more critical with the lips, you know, the lipstick, the light glossy lipstick with the cute cat on the top. And you know, nice. Is it the best? Am I like, oh, I can't wait to use that again? No. The metallic lip topper, it's nice and I do love it. It is very lightweight. I am concerned that I'm gonna look at the footage and be like, yikes, that looks terrible, what are you thinking? Um, but in the mirror, it does reflect really beautifully. So kind of unsure, feeling a little insecure on that one. And then what else do we have? We have this gorgeous, beautiful, best product of the whole mix right here is from Jason Wu. This is the single ready to sparkle in number two. And this is stunning. This is like so beautiful. I cannot wait to use this one again. This was the redeeming moment for me. And the mascara didn't work just because I like a little more oomph from my mascara. We tried another setting spray and then that's it. It's a crazy makeup day. I'm gonna go. And I just love you guys so much that yes, let's throw this on the internet. Let's try the good products, bad products. Let me know if you still like these kind of try on first impression videos. I do enjoy making them. They're just kind of fun to explore products. And yeah, that is all I have for you guys. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell before you leave. I love you so much and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.